Schools from all over the state descend on this battlefield, and I will descend on their ladies with musket in hand. Or should I say, musket you in there. Say. <laughs> Welcome to part A. Now, I'm not going to start this video off like I normally do by saying something like, Oh, this series is so painful, I don't know if I'm going to be able to complete it. Because quite frankly, considering the fact that last week's video got 100,000 views in a week, I have realised that the pain of watching the US in between us is completely worth it. To be honest, I'm actually enjoying making these videos more and more because I've realised that having the right to rip the shit out of these four people is an absolute honour so I can't really complain. I'm going to set another high like target because I, s I said 6,000 likes last time and we hit 7,000 in a few days so I'm just going to say 7,000 likes on this video and I will release part 9 only when I hit 7,000. Anyway, enough waffle, enough like targets, let's just get right into the episode. So this episode starts out with the group getting ready to go on a field trip to a Civil War reenactment place. This leads one to believe that this episode is based off the Geography Trip episode in the UK version. I just want to say before anything else that Jay really needs to get a trim. He looks more and more like a Karen every episode. I literally saw a comment a few videos ago that his haircut looks like a mix between Adam Devine and a Karen, and I've never seen such an accurate comparison. The geezer needs a trip to the barbers. Anyway, because this episode is based off that UK Geography Trip episode, there are as you would expect, a lot of jokes and gags from the UK episode that have been taken and poorly replicated. What a surprise. The first of these that I want to mention is the classic hard kids at the back of the coach scene. I'm firstly going to show you the scene from the UK version and explain why this scene was so good. But in all the excitement, we have forgotten the first rule of coach travel. Hard kids at the back. Oh, oh, I'm off. No, stay! There's no reason for us to move and we're not moving! Move. Why should we move? Do you want me to give you a reason? But I'm not leaving without one. I don't think you understand. I don't think that you understand that we got up early to secure these seats and there's no reason you'll find the point. Now why did this scene work so well? Well I think it mostly comes down to the relatability and realism of the scene. Jay, Neil and Simon, who have evidently just grown up in public schools their whole life, know not to mess with Donovan and immediately just move. Will however, true to his character, does the complete opposite and refuses. There's a small back and forth before Will is forcibly removed by Donovan and uh, humbly accepts defeat. How was this scene adapted in the US version? Things are going well with that? Shut up. Get out of our seats. Yes, that's it. Donovan literally appears, tells them to move, and they all do. And that's the end of it. Great show. There is just no comedic aspect to this scene. Like, how was this funny in any way? It lasted for five seconds, it was completely rushed, and all of the characters just moved when Donovan told them to. There was nothing funny about it. Anyway, the group then arrive at the Civil War reenactment place, and this is where the remainder of the episode takes place. Whilst I've mentioned that this episode is based off the UK Geography Trip episode, it does, to an extent, have a bit of originality about it, and some of the jokes in this episode are, to an extent, mildly amusing. However, let's not get too ahead of ourselves, because there is one glaring plot point that uh, I need to discuss. Yes, I'm talking about Jay and the 13 year old girl. So Jay sees this girl and decides to go up to her and start flirting with her and obviously at this point he doesn't know her age. He then goes and tells Will how much he likes her and raves on about her and it is then revealed that this girl is in fact in middle school which very much amuses Will and Simon. She's in middle school? This just got fun again. <laughs> <laughs> Now, in my opinion, this would have been the perfect end to this segment. Whilst the US in between is usually absolutely butchers any gag from the UK version that it tries to replicate, this would have been a relatively successful adaptation of the scene where a similar thing happens in the UK version. However, Jay decides to continue pursuing the girl, and uh, this is what has led many to refer to Jay as a paedophile. <laughs> 
Wait, so in this, Jay is an oh. actual paedophile. In this edition of the Inbetweeners, the Jay is a paedophile. He is pedo Kennedy. Now, I want to note that in the US version, Jay is actually 15 and the girl is 13. So, it is probably wrong to say that he's a paedophile. However, it's still relatively uncomfortable viewing. And why is this the case? Well, not only does the girl act and dress very childlike throughout the episode, but the fact that Jay is genuinely buzzing when he finds out that he's illegal kind of just suggests that something's a bit wrong, you know? It kind of just makes Jay seem uh, extremely creepy and kind of questionable. I hadn't given up yet. It's not illegal. And apparently, neither it's had Jay. It's not illegal. Well, it's not illegal. Not until I'm 16, but then I just wait two years, because she'll be 16, and I'll be 18, and then we can get married. It's going to be wonderful. It's a lot of math for a 13-year-old. Free! Free! I'm getting on the bus! I'm getting on the bus! I don't feel as if this plotline added anything to the story. All it did was make Jay seem like a bit of a weirdo, and that's it. Moving on, there's one more poorly adapted gag that I briefly want to mention. We all know the classic friends line in the UK version. Don't forget the thumbs up. Oh, friend. Oh, new friend. Friend. Oh, friend. He's my friend. Oh, friend. Oh, friend. Oh, friend. Fuck you lot, where's the beer? I've mentioned this in the previous video, but this reference is the epitome of British humour and has retained a common place in UK schools for over a decade. The US version, however, attempted to include this reference and did it in the worst possible way. Watch this shit attempt at an adaptation of the joke and see whether or not you cringe. Spoiler, you will. Oh my god, you really like this girl. Yeah, I do. <laughs> Ooh, ah, that would be amazing, I can't stop thinking about it. <laughs> oh, well, this is no fun. What the fuck was that? Ooh, How are you going to take that line, change the word to girlfriend, lazily throw it into a scene, and expect that to be funny. Why did they even include this joke? Surely they know how much of a British tradition this joke is. And to lazily include it in a scene for three seconds is so embarrassing and it pissed me off quite frankly. It didn't even really make sense for Will to say it. It's like they just threw it in for the sake of including it. Absolute shambles. The episode then ends with the group traveling home on the coach and there's this really dead scene where Will throws up everywhere and then walks back out onto the coach in just his underwear. I guess this was supposed to be some sort of haha -ha character in underwear funny moment, but it just failed completely. Whilst at first some might say that this is a relatively original gag and thus the show deserves credit, a case might be made to say that this is a knockoff version of when Simon's bollock was hanging out at the fashion show. Whether this was an original gag or just a poorly adapted joke, Either way, the scene remains really unfunny. It's just childish and immature humour, which, in all fairness, sums up the American in between us as a whole, evidenced by the fact that the word pussy was bleeped out at the start of the episode. Overall, whilst the episode had an element of originality that deserves credit, there were yet again a whole host of poorly adapted jokes that were genuinely hard to watch. Additionally, the J 13 year old girl plotline was very questionable and I just, I just don't think it needed to be included at all. I'm in the home straight now, only 4 more episodes to go, but yeah, I do not think the show is going to get any better from here. As I said, 7000 likes for part 9, subscribe to the channel, follow me on Twitter, link in the description, and please leave a comment telling me your opinion on the shambles of a series. Also leave video ideas for what I should do after I finish this series because in all fairness, my channel is going to be absolute ropes when I finish this series. This series has carried the channel for months. If you do comment, I might include it in the next episode. Anyway, peace.